As soon as I launched the project on Kickstarter, I realized that I was going to have to start promoting the project. So I looked on Facebook and one of the first things that came back was for the Barcelona Raspberry Jam, which was actually being held that very day. So at about 5 o'clock I hopped onto the metro and headed down to the Fab Cafe where it was being held. The event was being organised by a guy called Ferran Fabregas. Uh, he was showing a couple of his own exhibits, one of which was the life box shown there on the left with a bunch of LEDs, and the one on the right which is a weather station. It occurred to me that since the weather station just used three servos and an LDR that it would be a good opportunity to show what the Hatological could add to the Raspberry Pi. So when I got home I was looking for more information on the weather station and after trawling through Ferran's uh, DIY project log Twitter feed I came across his YouTube channel which has some nice footage of the weather station and as you can see the electronics. Inside there we can see that the servos are mounted on a board behind the Arduino there. I'm going to assume that the Arduino is taking care of the three PWMs needed to drive the servos. It's probably also doing the LDR and log input. Um, you can see that it's connected to the Pi via a board on top which seems to have a lot of transistors and MOSFETs on the top. I'm not sure what they're used for. And then the only other thing is the power. Obviously he won't be driving the three servos from the same 5 volts that powers the Raspberry Pi. So I thought I'd take a few hours and see if I could replicate this fairly simply using the Hatologico on, set on top of a Raspberry Pi. Starting by powering up the project, I need three servo motors. I'll also need an LDR and a DHT22, uh, that's a humidity and temperature sensor. I thought I had one, but it turns out I didn't. The DHT22 sensor that's going to be providing us with the humidity and temperature sensor actually just uses a direct digital pin on the Raspberry Pi and it uses very fast switching via a, a clever C library to achieve this but it doesn't use an analog input. The LDR however does use an analog input so that's a simple voltage divider circuit. I've got a 12k resistor from 5 volts going to the LDR, the other end of the LDR goes to ground the junction in the middle feeds off into our analog inputs, in this case analog input number one. So now that I've got the servo set up, I'm just going to put some labels on there so I know what each one is. From left to right we've got temperature, brightness and humidity. It was at this point that I reached for my DHT22 only to well, fail, I didn't have it. So I had to nip out to Diatronics to get another one. <laughs> So once home, all I had to do was hook up the DHT22 and the LDR circuit. The DHT22 also requires a 47k pull-up between the output pin and 5 volts. I also supplied the servo motors with their own uh, power supply. As I said earlier, you don't want to be powering the servo motors from the same power supply for your Pi. And after that, just tested the servo motors. So now that the hardware was working, I just had to work on the software. Uh, it, did, it took me less than an hour in total. The Most of the time was actually spent installing the DHT22 software. The, um, Adafruit has a GitHub library that's, that takes care of it quite nicely. I hadn't used it before and it needed to, um, a special install. It's not just a, a library that you reference at the top of the Python code. Other than that, I used, again, Adafruit's library for the Pulse Width Modulation and the ADC, that's the PC9685 driver, or the servo driver, I think Adafruit referred to it as, and also the ADS1015 driver, both fairly simple to use. I'll put the software that I wrote for this up on the GitHub gist pages, but there, there really isn't much to it. There is a little bit of lag um, sometimes, especially from the humidity and the temperature sensors. So sometimes the DHT22 can take up to about two seconds for reading. So for instance, after I move my hand away here, the servo can take a little bit to react. There you go, it moves. So that's that. That's a simplification of a project that I saw at the Raspberry Pi Jam. Those events are great to actually go and meet like-minded people and um, I thought Ferran did a particularly good job of this one. The organisation was great, there were talks on there um, and loads of projects to see. If you get a chance, get yourself along to a Raspberry Pi jam.